63,000 applications. They only took 50 something people. I apply to their internship program every year. Got rejected all first three years. Hi everyone, my name is Lillian and today I wanted to share with you how I landed my internship at Spotify. Specifically, I will be sharing with you my recruitment process as well as providing you three tips on how you can also land your internship there. So a little bit more background about me. I am currently the strategy and operations analyst at Spotify. I have been here for two and a half years and I actually started a job from the internship. I did my undergrad at NYU. I studied music business, which is like this hybrid program between music, business, and we also had to take some like music industry specialized courses, which is pretty interesting. I apply to their internship program every year. So I applied 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. So like all four years of my college. And funny enough, I got rejected all first three years. It was rejection over rejection. At some point, like by the third rejection, I thought, you know, this is it. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna get it. It was also through those three rejections that I realized, wow, it's really hard to land an internship at Spotify. There are probably thousands and thousands of applicants around the world trying to also get this internship. So the fourth year, um, which is 2018, um, I was applying for like my last chance to, to intern at Spotify. And I thought, you know what, this time I'm going to do something different. Spotify opens up their internship application around November every year. You can actually look it up on the official career website. You can type the word intern or internship and it will show up. One tip is that it does have like a rolling basis in terms of the posting. So it's not like one day all the internship posting will show up. It's kind of like one day you might see data science internship. The next two days you might see like user research internship. So. I would highly encourage you to kind of keep an eye on it throughout November to see if there are any potential teams or functions that you're really, really interested in applying. So for me, I applied to the user research internship. At that time, I was really interested in that area. In terms of the application, I submitted my resume. I can probably post it here. So I submitted my resume. I also submitted a portfolio of the work that I've done. So I built a website using this website building tool called Wix. And I thought I would put together all the work and projects I've done throughout my internships in college, all in one place. My rationale was that I wanted to showcase my projects in a more telling and showing way, not just, you know, like a bunch of text on a piece of paper. I applied in November and that's when the waiting game came. In February 2019, I got an email from Spotify. Um, it's from Spotify recruiting team. And the subject was your application for user researcher summer internship New York at Spotify. So I opened that email. And the first thing I see is, hi Lillian, thank you for applying for the user researcher internship. We got a very large amount of applications this year. And unfortunately, we have decided to not move forward further. Honestly, I was so upset. I think this one hit different because I knew this is my last chance to intern at Spotify as a college student. A few moments later. I carried on and I was applying to other jobs. I was thinking about, you know, oh my God, what do I do once I graduate? So April came on and on a random day on April 3rd, I got an email from Spotify again. This time it's not like an automated system. It's from one of the HRs and the subject title reads, Great news, your application to Spotify Markets, Strategy and Analytics Summer 2019 Internship. And I was like, wait, this can't be right. I thought I got rejected already. So I think what happened was that the team didn't put up the internship posting, but my resume was still being reviewed by all the teams and they saw mine, they probably thought it was a great fit. So that's why HR invited me to do an interview. And it was really interesting because they sent me that email on April 3rd. They wanted me to interview within the next two days. So in terms of the interview process, I did a 30 minute WebEx call with my manager because the team is based in Miami and he's based in Miami. I was in New York at that time. So we had to do it virtually. He asked me, tell me about yourself, walk me through your internship experiences on your resume, tell me a project that you're the most proud of, also, he threw this random case study. He asked me if you were to 
increase Spotify's user growth in LATAM, what would be your strategies? How would you go about thinking of, about it? We ended with, you know, do you have any questions for me? So I asked my three questions. That's it. That's that's it for the interview. Two days later, I received a phone call from this random number in North Carolina. It was 7 a.m. in the morning and I picked up the phone. It was actually my manager. He told me, congratulations on the offer. Would you be willing to accept this offer to intern with us during the summer? And at that moment, I was half awake and I was like, oh my God, of course. And I kept saying of course like over and over again. And I remember after I hung up that phone call, I just like cried because I felt at that moment like I was the luckiest person in the entire world. And it's like the fact that, wow, dreams do come true. And so yeah, that's my story on how I landed my internship at Spotify. I would also like to provide three tips on how you can increase your chance at scoring an internship at Spotify. So the first tip I have is be creative with your application. There are so many people applying for Spotify internships every year. Like in my case, it was 63,000 applications. They only took 50 something people. So it's really a numbers game and you really want to stand out among all these people that are also applying. What I've been seeing these days on LinkedIn especially is how students would come up with really creative resume. I've seen one that's like wrapped themed resume. I've also seen one that's like resume that just looks like a Spotify interface and they will tag Spotify, they will tag relevant team. And even as a Spotify employee, when I look at that, I'm like, wow. Not only does it show that you invest time in putting this application, it also is so creative that I want to know more about your background experience. So that's one way to kind of be creative and stand out. So whatever it is that you choose to be creative in your own definition, highly encourage you to do it to kind of stand out from the crowd. So the second tip I have is on tailoring the word that you use in your resume so it's relevant for the job. The reason why I say that is because when a system or when HR are reviewing your resume, either they already have keywords that are relevant for the teams or they want to make sure that you're valuable with the skills that you have or with the things that you've done. And a good way to go about that, making sure you have the right words, is looking at the full-time job description for people that have the same title. For instance, if you're applying for a data science internship, then you can look up data scientist job description on Spotify for full time and try to see in the key qualification section what they're looking for, like what are the key skills that they're looking for. And you can also try to use some of the words that they use into your resume so that when people read your resume, it feels more familiar in a way. It allows people to relate to you more. Another thing I would do is go on LinkedIn and I look up people who are on that team and then I try to see if anyone has added description in terms of what they do and I try to like not copy exactly but I try to paraphrase it and like use the right verb let's say. My third tip is articulating how your experiences can be valuable or interesting for the company. You can express that either in your resume or you can also express that when you are interviewing. For me, I expressed that in my interview. I talked a lot about my internship experience at one of the major record labels and how I worked on a lot of K-pop projects. And I strategically mentioned that project because I knew at that time Spotify was investing a lot into K-pop. And not to my surprise, when I mentioned that, my manager was very interested to hear more. When I started my internship, they, he also told me they were looking at a K-pop phenomenon. So the fact that I had some type of experience working with K-pop really helped when it comes to like me bringing value in that subject. So think about how your skills or how your experiences can be valuable or interesting for the company. And one way to do that is to look up what the company is working on, what the team is working on. You can probably look, at, look that up. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. And comment down below if you have any more questions or if you have any other video ideas you want me to cover.